A lot of the shipwrecks I work on are so deep, to get to them, we have to do what we call decompression diving. We go deep enough that when you come up, you have to breathe either 80% or 100% oxygen to push the excess nitrogen out of your body. If you don't get the excess nitrogen out of your body, you get what we call decompression sickness, also called the bends. Sometimes when we're sitting there for up to four hours, we get really bored, but we've found a lot of ways to entertain ourselves underwater. My favorite way is to play charades. I just pretend to be Indiana Jones and have a whip and a hat underwater. Shockingly, some other underwater archeologists don't get this, but it's my go-to. The other thing we do is we read paperbacks. You'd be surprised how long a paperback book can actually last underwater. We're so shallow doing decompression, you can actually see the boat. So you can see your mates on the boat drinking a cup of tea and looking down at you underwater. And it's really difficult to have the stamina and mental strength to keep yourself from going up to the boat, even when you're cold and tired and hungry after being underwater for hours and hours. 